It was a special presentation at the Papillion Public Library featuring author Bill Ganzel. His research project, book, and short movie about the Dust Bowl and the Depression is the definitive work on the subject. So why are you here? Tell me about, tell me what, you know, this is audience participation. Why are you here? Basically because uh, I heard my parents always talking about yeah. the Dust Bowl years. And uh, right. uh, what I remember most is that how they struggled financially right. and what they had to do to get by. Starting in 1974, Bill went on the road to photograph the aftermath of the Dust Bowl and to interview its victims 40 years after the Great Depression. What came out of that project is the Dust Bowl descent. Born in 1933, so I was through all of that. My mom right. put wet right. sheets on the windows to keep the dust down. Did it work? Well, it didn't help. My dad lost a farm, but we gained it back. So. Did your family leave? No, no, no. They you wouldn't stayed. leave. Right. Yeah, they were pretty persistent. When were you born? <clears throat> If I can ask. <laughs> 32. 32. But she's a year older than me. Yeah. Bill used the photographs taken by Look Magazine in the 1960s as a roadmap for tracing the cause, effect, and aftermath of the Great Depression and Dust Bowl. Pushed them to produce an encyclopedia of what it was like to live through the Great Depression. He knew that phot photographs could, in, could grab that, what was happening. And my contention is that, for, that big historic events don't really matter unless they affect the lives of you and me. And the Great Depression affected so many people. The book and video start with the stock market crash and how it affected everyday working Americans. When the stock market crashed in October 1929, investors lost a quarter of their money in just two days. The decade that followed became the Great Depression. My father uh, in Omaha was working for a major rubber corporation. He lost his job at the merger, and so he was left without a means of support for his family. I'm sure that the experience of the Depression, what we went through with our folks, established uh, patterns and habits that all of us have carried through for the rest of our lives. Five years after the stock market crash, an historically extreme drought hit almost all of America. In the plains, the Dust Bowl began. Tracking down the people in the photos was not easy. Sometimes all he had was a caption and location. For example, this photo titled Migrant Mother, Napona, California. Bill had to track down Florence Thompson. You know this photograph, right? You've seen this photograph because it is published everywhere. It captures that sense of desperation. For other photos, no matter how hard he tried, he had no luck tracking down the subject. Deadwood's not that big a town, right? You would think that somebody would remember that face. No one did. In the end, Bill Gansel, a person who has been working or talking about the Great Depression for nearly 50 years, asked an ominous question. Could there be another depression? Yeah. Yes? 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 Who else? Anybody want to argue with this? No one? This is a pessimistic lot. <laughs> Our society now, if, if something like that were to happen, I think people in general are, are looking out after themselves and probably a lot more violent. Historians who say that if FDR had not made the changes he had made, that we would have faced a revolution. That the desperation was that deep. And one great example of that is what many of the kids in farming areas wore during that time. And the companies realized pretty quickly that sacks printed with attractive patterns would sell better to farm wives who could make clothes from them. That's why families from coast to coast would show up at public events like the Vermont State Fair with remarkably similar clothing. For Papillion Now, I'm Michael Severe.